Welcome to how to drive your Echo 3. In order to turn on your Echo, you'll want to make sure that you have pressed the start stop button. Notice how we're in drive. If you want to switch to reverse, use your right hand, turn the knob all the way to the right, and you'll notice your backup camera turns on. In the middle, you'll notice that you're in neutral, and all the way to the left, you're in drive. Make sure you're in drive before you go forward. The battery on the left hand side actually indicates the voltage you use when driving, while the lights on the right side indicate the battery charge. You'll be able to tell how fast you're going with kilometers per hour in the middle. On your left handlebar, you'll notice your horn and indicator lights. When trying to turn signal, remember, this switch does not make a sound. While your indicator light will blink, you'll need to manually turn it off towards the center and towards your left and off. Your horn is also on your left side. You'll also notice your lights and your left brake and brake lock. The right handlebar, you have more lights, windshield wipers, and wiper fluid. You also have your throttle. In order to go forward, you must feather the throttle towards yourself, just like with any motorcycle or Vespa. Before you drive anywhere in your Echo 3, make sure that the brake locks are off. In order to disengage them, simply grab and release the brake locks on either side. This allows you to move forward. When you're ready to exit your Echo 3, make sure to engage the brake locks by squeezing them and flipping that switch towards you. It'll stick and might take a couple tries and a little bit of muscle. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Overall, the Echo 3 goes 35 miles an hour and please use caution when turning. However, it is built for your safety and comfort. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and thank you and have a fun driving experience.